Okay, I wanted to do a quick screen share just to show you. Um, I ordered the product from the lot company and I got quite a few emails today um, basically telling me to take some of my listings down. So, like this one is an official notice. I've been selling a Creative product without proper authorization. Uh, many of these, they were all basically the same. At first, I contacted Amazon. They said, ignore it. And then I started asking around in some of the forums, and I was basically told, don't ignore it because um, there are people who are brand owners, and you can get your account shut down for listing when you're not authorized. So that one, I'm going to search the um, ASIN and just show you how you can spot these um, because you're going to want to spot them before you send them in. So this one... I had to close the listing because I got nervous. At first I thought, oh, well, forget it. You know, they're just trying to scare me off the listing. But when I click on it and I go to their listing, that's the exact product that I have, but they white labeled it. So, yeah, it looks like that, but mine's not Creative because I didn't white label mine. And how I know is when I click on other sellers, there's only two new and they're both sold by the same company. And they'll usually these label companies will have a manufacturer, a merchant fulfilled, and then a fulfilled by Amazon. They'll be on there twice, and then there's one person selling it in used, very good condition, and that's it. So basically, when you see that, you pretty much know that you know it, they it, they're probably right when they're telling you to back off of their listing. Um, I had a few of those like that today, um, so. I um I went back and I looked at all of them and I basically realized that I did need to shut down several of my listings um just so I could be safe and not get my account in trouble even though Amazon did tell me not to worry about it and I did reply to them letting them know you know sorry you know whatever but uh, I'm trying to find another one um just to kind of give you an idea now, I also had sent in several items that were just flat out restricted by Amazon. So, there's things that I needed to be careful about. Um, like this one right here is blocked. Well, I already sent it in, so now i got to pay to have it sent back, which kind of stinks. Uh, but these are all things that I should have checked out prior to trying to send them in. Here's another one. Um, I'm restricted from selling this product. And I know that because when I go to try to sell it, it basically told me that I was blocked. However, I was able to create a fulfillment order and send it in the, in the first place. I'm not really sure why I was allowed to do that, um, but I was. So here's another one. Um, oops, I spelled it wrong. Zanmon. Wait, I can't remember how they how they spelled it. Let me look. A pendant. Okay, this one. Um, I thought they were full of it too, but when I go to the listing, you can tell it's just them. So, you know, they've got a lot of reviews and, you know, they have a decent rank, yet they're the only ones selling it. So that tells me. It is theirs. That's their, they wait labeled that, and I can't be on that listing. So, in that lot, I had a pretty decent number of products that were either restricted completely and or um, branded, and now I know that I need to go through the entire manifest and check all of the items so that I have an idea on whether or not there's too many of those items in there. Now, it's not horrible because... You know, eBay, some of the items actually sell pretty good over there. So had I known this ahead of time, I would have just not even wasted my time sending them in at all. Um, another one is I had um, these Uggs. I mean, this was a great deal. I was going to make a lot of money on these, um, except for the fact that I'm not allowed to sell Uggs. So I guess I could come over to eBay, you know, and see if I can get a better, what would they go for over there? And I'm going to have to, but had I known this, I just wouldn't have sent them in at all. You know, let's check for sold listings. 
you know, C1599. That's my size 7 right there. So this is cool. You know, I could have, mine looked just like that. Exactly like that, actually. So I could have, I could go in here and I can sell them and get rid of them. But um, now I'm already lost money because I sent them in the Amazon first. And I should have checked to make sure I could sell them. So there is a list. I put it in the group basically giving you all the excluded Amazon brands, which some may or may not be on there, but it's a good place to start. And then, as I said, clicking on every listing and seeing, um, you know, whether or not there are sellers on there. If it looks like a branded item, um, you might want to stay away from those too. So I hope this helps. Thanks.